All right, so looking forward to tonight's presentation, and we'll start out with the most recent update on our COVID numbers and kind of where we're at. Next slide, David. COVID vaccine distribution, we're getting close to 200,000. I know my phone call today with the Oakland County Health Division, we began, uh, again, uh, tried to make sure that they're prioritizing our teaching staff as much as possible. So it's good that it's going up. However, the supply can't keep up with the demand. And I know they've still got some 1A people that they need to continue to vaccinate and teachers fall into that 1B category. Another potential positive is Johnson & Johnson, their single dose vaccine. Uh, the FDA is going to meet February 26th to review their emergency use application. If approved, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine plans to have 100 million doses available in the first half of 2021. Next slide. Looking at the latest reporting period, January 27th to February 9th, a couple things because I've received quite a few emails about this. When this report is pulled by the Oakland County Health Division, it is real time data at that moment. So if you go and compare it to their dashboard, the numbers aren't going to match up evenly because it's pulled as live real time data. Also, it's confirmed and probable cases. So your confirmed cases are going to be your PCR test that's reported. And your probable cases are going to be the rapid anti antigen tests. So it combines both of those. Uh, some of the key points with the latest update, percent positive for seven days is at 3.82%. Percent positive for 28 days is at 5.22%. <clears throat> this week, all numbers are trending down. Uh, compared to the last report, they're down about 500 total cases of COVID-19. Next slide, please. Looking at hospitalizations, again, we're seeing the tr trend to continue to go down as far as patients on ventilators, critical patients, and then patients that are in the hospital, but not in critical, uh, critical care. Next slide, David. So looking at our case rate, percent positive, they're actually at the lowest they've been since late September or early October. So again, that projection uh, continues to go down or the data is trending down. Keep in mind, this is a three to four day lag. And so this report, we pull off our, our web page on the front page of the district website. And the information is taken from the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, uh, which everyone reports to at the end of the day. Next slide. Looking at COVID-19 on a national level, again, we're starting to see a large dip in cases reported. However, also keep in mind that the numbers are incredibly high, right? So over 100,000 a day is still incredibly high, but down from the 250,000 we were at. So breaking it down, looking more at Michigan and Oakland County, the Oakland County rate for the past seven days, again, has been 3.82%. Currently, as of yesterday, all 83 counties in Michigan are now under 10%. Also, Michigan currently ranks 47 out of 50 states in the seven-day average per capita of COVID cases. Uh, so only Hawaii, North Dakota, and Oregon rank lower. Next slide. With the case rates going down per day, we're also starting to see some days that are under 100 as far as case count. That's the table top right. Again, if you go on the website, they're pulling live data. So if you see for February 10th, it says 35 cases. If you go back today, the case number will be higher because the data takes about four days to get through. They might have 10 cases that really belong to Oakland County that get shifted out there. When this was pulled, it might've been two in the afternoon and 40 more cases came in that day. So typically it's a three or four day average for, until all the information moves out. Next slide, David. Just a reminder, those looking to get appointments, there's drive-through testing, uh, there's locations at the Pontiac Fire Station and the Southfield Pavilion Parking Deck. There are other places that you can go and get tested, uh, tested as well, but just wanted to share that information. Next slide, David. Uh, thank you, President Coleman. That is it for the COVID update.